Hello and welcome to GSE at Home, bringing you a little bit of science during the week at 10 a.m. My name is Veronica and today we're going to talk about volcanoes and build our very own volcano experiment. You'll definitely need a grown-up to help you with this experiment and grown-ups, you'll need a kid too. This is going to be massive! Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> the volcanoes are really cool. Have you ever seen a volcano? Do you know what they look like? Do you know what they are? Well, volcanoes are weaknesses or openings in the Earth's crust that allow gases, ash, and molten rock called magma to escape from inside the Earth. And they create huge mountains and lava flows from at the top. To begin their story, we need to start at the center of the Earth. The Earth is made up of many layers. It has a hot, solid inner core, an outer core around that made up of mostly liquid iron, um, and a hot mantle around that again made up of rocks and minerals. It's so hot because of the mass of the Earth pushing down massive amounts of pressure and something called frictional heating because it's constantly in motion. Now, friction is a force between stuff that's sliding or rubbing against each other. Um, I'll show you. Take your hands, place them against each other and rub them really, really fast. Rub them hard and fast, yeah. Can you feel that heat? Now imagine that on a huge scale. Now, a lot of our planet's mantle is made from magma. That's the stuff that you need to make volcanoes. Magma is molten liquid rock and minerals. This magma is slowly churned through the mantle towards the crust, finding cracks and weaknesses along the tectonic plates. Tectonic plates are like giant, very, very slowly moving pieces that land and water sits on. When the magma pressure is released through the edges of these plates, it causes a volcanic eruption. When the magma reaches the surface, it's then called lava. And that lava, that spewing lava flows down the side of the volcano. When the lava cools, it forms volcanic rock and makes the volcano bigger and bigger and bigger. And it can even create whole islands. The biggest volcano to exist in our solar system isn't on planet Earth. That's right, other planets have volcanoes too. It's on Mars and it's the same size as France. Okay, so let's get to making our volcano. You're gonna need a few things first. You're gonna need a piece of cardboard, something like this. You're gonna need some newspaper, some bicarbonate soda, some washing up liquid, um, some white vinegar, although any vinegar will do. A small bottle, this one's perfect size. Um, some sellotape. It is better with masking tape, but I couldn't find any masking tape in any of the shops and I don't have any in the house, so I'm going to just make do with some sellotape. Some scissors, um, some food colouring. Um, I couldn't find any orange, I don't think they do orange, so I've got some red and some yellow. A little spoon. A little bowl for mixing, a little bit of water, and some paper mache here as well. Now with paper mache, all you need to do is get one part flour um, and then four parts water and just whiz it round. Um, if you've got a food blender, perfect. But if you just mix it into a paste and then just add more and more water to it um, for her paper mache at the end. Um, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is put our newspaper to one side. I'm gonna take your bottle, Take the lid off it, make sure you drink the contents first and give it a little wash out. And then we're going to find the end of the sellotape. This is why you need a grown up to help you. Or maybe you're better at finding the end of the sellotape than your grown up is, because this grown up is having difficulty. <laughs> Aha! I've got it. Ah, no, I don't. Yes, I do. It's all an adventure. <laughs> So we're going to take a little bit of tape, use your scissors, and we're going to sellotape the bottle. You want to get it right in the middle of that cardboard. So there we go. There's one end. Okay, so we've got our bottle sellotaped in the middle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our newspaper and we're going to get a big bit 
scratch it up into a big ball. So our bottle is going to be um, like the magma store in the middle and this paper is going to be all of our mountains. So we're going to scrunch it up, put it in the outside. Cut it up. And just sellotape it down. So we're going to secure this newspaper down and we'll build that up around our bottle in the middle and that's going to be all of that lava rock all of that mountain is made up of previous lava flows so that's what we're building up just now So now we have our basic um, volcano shape I built it up with our newspaper making sure to leave the very top our lid at the top peeking through. We don't want to cover that at all. But it's a bit bumpy, so we're going to have to smooth that out. And that's where our paper mache comes into play. So it's been sitting here for a wee while, so I'm just going to give it a little stir with my spoon. Give it a wee stir. And make sure to get a grown up to help you with this. Because it does get a bit messy, so make sure that you've got something covering your table. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our newspaper and we're going to pop it into strips. Now it is better to tear it than to actually cut it. You just get a much smoother surface with a rougher edge. Oh, <laughs> that's not going to do us any good. So we want to get nice long strips like this. It's a bit tricky to get even I'm struggling. So then we'll take a piece like this and you dip it in. Get it nice and covered. Right. And then I'm going to start from the bottom and make my way up to the top. So I'm going to start right at the front here. And you just pop that down nice and flat. Now, if you're using sellotape like me, it will be a little bit tricky to try and get the um, paper mache to, to stick to it. So make sure to try and get it to stick to the main bits of paper first um, and then just cover it over. Now to this um, paper mache, I've added a little bit of salt to it as well. Um, that just sometimes with paper mache, it does get a little bit mouldy, a little bit stinky after a while. Um, and that salt just stops it from smelling. So that's me finished my uh, paper mache. I have found that it's easier to get smaller pieces from the bottom and then sort of work your way up to the top, making sure to leave your cap nice and open so that when we do our volcano experiment that it can like flow freely down our wonderful mountain. So you need to leave this to dry overnight preferably and make sure it's nice and dry and then tomorrow when we come back, well, it'll be a blink of an eye for you, but it'll be a good night's sleep for me. And um, we'll start decorating it and then we'll get on with our volcano experiment. So, so here we are tomorrow morning, a brief second for you, but it's been a lovely long night's sleep for me. You can see that my volcano is now lovely and dry and now it's time for the exciting part. It is time for the painting and look, my paints are arrived. Um, so now it's time to decide what you want to decorate your volcano like. I'm going to go for classic volcano, um, so like a mountain, perhaps some vegetation on it. Um, I've got my brushes here as well and a wee um, palette I'm just using the inside of the packet. And let's get started. So here we are, I have finished my wonderful volcano. I've chosen these colours just to make it more realistic for myself, but you can really paint it any colour you like. When you are painting it, don't worry that some parts will get a little bit soft again, so just make sure that it's nice and dry before you start this next segment. So it is the fun bit. I'm just going to move this to the side and show you what we're going to pop inside for our volcano experiment. What you'll need is your bicarbonate soda, um, a little tub, one of these plastic takeaway tubs is absolutely ideal. Open up, get a little measuring spoon. This is just a tablespoon. You can use an actual tablespoon and this one doesn't fit, so I'm going to just, <laughs> just pour it in. <laughs> now these measurements don't have to be absolutely exact. So I've put a tablespoon in there. And then I'm going to take a little bit of water and just a drip. Just not, just not a bit that much. Not too much at all. You just want it to make a nice, Okay, something to 
be able to pour. I'll probably add a little bit more. Mix that around a little bit, nice and gently, so that it's nice and pourable. Excellent. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take some washing up liquid, any type will do. You just want a little bit, that's plenty, just a wee drip, and that just makes it nice and frothy. Remember like that wonderful volcanic rock? The pumice stone, it was all lovely and frothy sometimes. The lava comes out nice and frothy, that's what you want. You want it nice and thick when it comes out. So mix that nice and thoroughly. And then we're going to pour it into our wonderful volcano. Perfect. Right, excellent. So now that our um, base is in there. What you want to do is add some colour. I'm going to just add just a couple of drops of each. That's all you need. Oh, oh okay, that's a lot. It's going to come out really red. <laughs> and a little bit of yellow. Now, lava is red because it's so hot. All of that heat coming out of it. Excellent. So now it will be good to go and we'll just add our wonderful vinegar. Now remember, any vinegar will do. Before you start this, you might have noticed that I have changed locations. I've come into my hall just because it's got a wipe clean surface. Um, I'll be able to mop up any mess because of course, we've got that food coloring in there and we don't want to stain anything. Make sure that you're standing a little bit back and you've got a grown up to help you because we are using vinegar and bicarbonate of soda. And if any of that splashes back, um, just make sure to shield yourself in any way and keep your distance from it. It shouldn't splash up too much. It should be absolutely fine. Make sure to pop down an old towel um, just to soak up any mess as well. We're not expecting too much mess, um, but it is just in case, always safety first. So I'm going to take my wonderful vinegar and we'll give it a go. You ready? Oh, look at all of that lava. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, it's very vinegary. You'll tell I'm going to pour a little bit more in. Whoa. Ah, oh, it's coming in more. <laughs> I'm having the best time. <laughs> a little bit more in. Oh, now you can really see that food coloring coming out as well. Oh, it does come out fairly well. Sometimes if you want to do this, um, you can even do it in a bathtub or over the sink and that way it's just really easily cleaned up afterwards as well. So all of the lava flows down that volcano and then it'll reach the bottom. It'll rapidly cool once it gets to the top. Remember, it's magma when it's underneath and when it comes up to the surface, that's when it's called lava. And when that lava hardens and creates brand new rock all the way around, a lot of our land is made out of that. In fact, a lot of Scotland is made out of that as well. Arthur's Seat in Edinburgh is actually an extinct volcano. Extinct means that it's very unlikely for it to um, erupt again. It's sort of like it's sleeping and it shouldn't wake up. Now remember, um, the largest volcano in our solar system isn't on our planet here, it's on the planet of Mars. Or we're getting a little bit more. <laughs> It's on the planet of Mars, and that's the same size of France. That's huge. I don't think I have enough newspaper to make something like that out of, but I think I can do a little bit better than this. What do you think? Oh, wow, look at that. Shall we uh, try a bigger volcano? I think we should. So that is your sort of traditional volcano experiment. Um, but remember when I was saying we could go a little bit bigger? Well, I had an idea. I have made another one. Whoa, it's a lot bigger. And you might recognize this little cap. It's still got the cap on, why you ask? Because inside is <laughs> Old Faithful. It's a bottle of Iron Brew. And what I'm going to do now you've seen this on Tinternet. I'm going to add some Mentos to it. Slightly different experiment. I've got no idea where it's going to happen. 
we'll experiment together and see if it works. Now to make this, I made it in the exact same way, like I did newspaper, paper mache, and then painted it at the end. The only difference is I had the full bottle in the middle. Instead of an empty bottle, it is a full bottle. Now what I did was I unscrewed the cap and then popped it back on just to make it easier when it's taken um, the cap off. Do this in an area that's either wipe clean, lots of towels and stuff down, I do it in the bathtub. All right, excellent, we've got the cap off. I've got mementos here and we're going to pop them in. Are you ready? Now again, make sure you've got a grown up with you, make sure that it's in an area that you can clean up. My hands are shaking. making a volcano with me today make sure to send out your videos and your pictures and let me see how you decorated your volcanoes what kind of effects you did did you use different types of um, food coloring did you get different effects uh, send in your videos and um, thank you so much for joining me today and have a wonderful day and stay safe